Okay, this is a new tutorial for Fantasy Grounds and Hero Labs, and we are going to review the import export functionality of Hero Labs into Fantasy Grounds. So, assuming you have Hero Lab installed, uh, you'll launch the program and select your Pathfinder rule set, load it up. Now for purposes of this video I'm going to assume that you already have a player loaded so we're going to open that file select the character that we want to import and for this one it's going to be uh, Duro Lee Leak. Um, and this is just going to be a matter of saving the uh, appropriate output So our next step at this point is to select the file drop-down list, save custom output. Let me zoom in so that you can see this a little bit better. All right, so again, we're going to do file, save custom output. You're going to want to select the Fantasy Grounds custom output. We'll do it for the current hero only. Um, I haven't tried batch processing, but let's keep it simple and do it one hero at a time. We'll select output. And again, I don't think you can see this, so let me zoom in. This should be much better. You'll select Fantasy Grounds. Click the output button. And again, we're selecting current hero only. We're going to save the uh, character into the appropriate directory. Important to note this is going to save as a an extension of .hlfg Hero Lab Fantasy Grounds. When we import into Fantasy Grounds we're going to need to change that extension so we'll talk about that in a moment but for now let's just save it. And that's all we need to do within Fantasy Grounds for the time I'm sorry within Hero Labs for the time being. I'm going to move on to show you what you need to do to that file to import it into Fantasy Grounds. So to start, we'll X out of Hero Lab and, and look for the file we just created. So we'll X out. Now we will go into our Windows Explorer. Once Windows Explorer is up, we'll find our program. Now my uh, Hero Lab characters are created and saved into my documents library. So I went into libraries documents. I believe that's the default, but you may have to play around with that. Let's find our character. Again, it was Durak Lee. And we saved it as an HLFG extension. Let me see if I can find that. And uh, point of clarification, the standard Hero Labs extension .por is saved in my documents uh, folder. However, when I did the save the custom output, I've uh, moved that to my download section. Your, your best bet is to check documents and downloads and it's probably in one of those. So here is the extension we were looking for. Um, Duro Leak HLFG. Now when we import this into Fantasy Grounds, we're going to need to change that extension. So let's go ahead and do that. The uh, format we need to change it to is .xml, so we'll highlight the program, I'm sorry, the uh, character, and we'll simply go in and change it to XML. Hit return. It's going to ask you if you want to change the file name extension. Uh, it might be unusable. The answer is yes. Now we have our character in Fantasy Grounds format and we need to find a way to import it into Fantasy Grounds. To do that, you'll need to download the uh, character importer utility from the Fantasy Grounds um, forums. It can be found in the uh, laboratory section, I believe, and it's stickied. Um, in the forums there. Uh, just do a search for character importer and you'll find it. 
Now I already have the character importer saved, so I'm going to go ahead and launch that. So you can see in my start menu, I've uh, already got the uh, Fantasy Grounds character converter um, dot executable as a shortcut. I'm going to go ahead and launch that. This is the main body of the um, character converter slash importer. can be used for multiple systems, for, but for this we're going to be using Pathfinder. So to do that, we will select our input program. It's going to be Pathfinder. The program is coming from Hero Labs. So we're going to select Hero Labs.xml. Then we will select the file. Again, we're going to find the file that we just created, which, as I previously referenced, I have saved in downloads. We will select directly. You can see that he is in the file name. We will go ahead and select open. Now we are going to output into our specific campaign. Now there's a couple ways to do it. You could save it. If you hadn't joined a game yet and you were importing yourself, you would do it into your uh, local import. That way it would be a local character for you when you logged on to the game you were playing in. You would then transfer it over to the server just by selecting your character locally. Um, since I'm the DM here, I'm going to import it into my campaign so that all of my PCs are going to be server characters. If you don't know the distinction, it's not terribly important. Just know that if, if you're creating this as a player, you want to put it in local import. If you're creating this as a DM, you want to import it into your campaign. So here we're going to do a campaign import. You're going to select the application data directory. For Fantasy Grounds, the default is in your users directory, your character name, I'm sorry, your um, username, so the um, user username, it's in the applications data folder. For Windows 7, it's in roaming. Um, you're going to find your Fantasy Grounds folder where all, all of your campaigns are stored. If, you, if you're uncertain where your uh, Fantasy Grounds directory is, you can find it in your start menu by doing the following. Click on your start menu. Go into All Programs, find where you've saved Fantasy Grounds, and your applications data will be listed in the uh, entry for Fantasy Grounds. If you click on that, you'll see um, the directory where Fantasy Grounds and your campaigns are stored. exit out of there and go back to uh, the import utility okay we found where we want to input now we'll just select the campaign that we're going to import into uh, for this one I'm running a first steps campaign go to output options um, I'm selecting use modules uh, for the module manager to look up data um, that seems to have worked for me there are some other options um, with regard to using um, local files for conversion. I haven't used that. Um, if somebody else knows how that uh, will impact it, I will update this at a later point. But for me, 
just clicking this laps option works the best. If I'm reloading characters, I like to delete them and reload them from scratch, although you do have the option of clicking this box to replace the existing uh, character. But once we've selected all of our options here, we'll just go ahead and we'll just go ahead and convert. And you can see in our console manager um, that it used the following modules, the SRD to convert the data, and um, it's been successfully converted. So we're going to clear this and X out. And we're just going to launch Fantasy Grounds to make sure that that character is now in Fantasy Grounds. Okay, I've gone ahead and launched Fantasy Grounds. I'm, go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and pull up the uh, character listing. And you can see that Duro Leak is now in my character selection options. Um, you will have to transfer over uh, a character portrait for him, as we've discussed in the uh, the uh, player tutorials. But let's just take a look and see if everything we need for him is here. And you can see from the entry that everything seems to have come over smoothly. We've got all of his uh, attributes, defenses, um, his perception and racial abilities, the combat calculator, skills, abilities. The other nice thing is descriptions for all the abilities have come through. If you click on the dragon boxes you'll see the descriptions which is very nice. Inventory including the amount of items and their encumbrance. Again very nice. And if you go down to actions his attacks along with modifiers are there as well. Um, so Overall, it looks to be fairly successful. Um, now, one thing to keep in mind is that the conversion process isn't perfect. Um, you'll have to keep a, an eye out for some things like memorized spells um, for memorizing casters. For Rogue, the sneak attack damage didn't come through, but that's an easy fix. You'll just have to manually enter those. So, for instance, if you wanted to do sneak attack damage, um, you could, if it was just a 1d6, drag it into your hotkey, relabel it by right clicking on the box, hitting edit label, typing in sneak attack, let me get this out of the way, and that way when you roll it, you just click on the box and it will roll your sneak attack damage. Okay, that's uh, the quick discussion of how to use the character importer and Hero Labs together with Fantasy Grounds. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to send an email to Talon on the uh, Fantasy Ground boards, or alternatively, you can go to the new um, Yahoo group that we've created for Pathfinder GMs and players interested in Pathfinder Society games. Looking to build up the, uh, the number of games we offer on a week-to-week -week basis. Um, we've got quite a few players looking to recruit new DMs and to find that you would go to games.groups.yahoo.com forward slash group forward slash fg2 PFS. That's for Fantasy Grounds 2, Pathfinder Society, and just a quick look. Um, this is uh, the beginning of our, our group. Um, we've loaded some instructional videos in addition to this one, and we've started calendaring some games. So if you're interested in joining a game or playing a game or running a game, check out the site. Thank you, and uh, look forward to seeing you uh, on Fantasy Grounds at some point in the future.